Welcome back. What if you could speak English, Spanish, German, or whatever you wanted all at the same time? You can. It's incredible new technology that was introduced today on the campus of Carnegie Mellon University. Channel 4 Action News reporter Kelly Fry has the story in English, of course. This conference room looks more like TV studio today, and in a sense it is. On this screen, a live video conference of students in Germany. The other, the transmission from CMU. Both groups are talking to each other using this. Take a look at the English and Spanish lines. This is technology that translates as you speak. For us, it's of course a milestone. We are reaching now that a moment where it really becomes possible to speak fluently, give a lecture, and uh, have it auto uh, automatically, simultaneously translated into another language. Forty researchers have spent seven years finding ways to take handheld translating devices like this to the next level. I have a headache. When I had a headache. When I so had slightly a headache. wrong. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> That's better than what I would do if I had to translate into Thai. Now watch as Stan Joe maps the words, and the electrodes he's wearing detect muscle movement, which is then translated into speech in three different languages. A lot of problems emerge from us not being able to communicate with each other. Do we watch the news in other countries? Typically not. And I think it is very important to have that information so that we can understand how different people feel and how they react. And that communication, we think, is very important for the world of tomorrow. May change the world? Yes, we hope so. <laughs> and once again, today is the first day that this technology has ever been introduced to the public. But they're saying in as little as five years, you could see this used all around the world. In Oakland, Kelly Fry, Channel 4 Action News. That's incredible. Amazing. He did everything his way.